Welcome back to AI Motion Studio. In today's video, we're continuing where we left off with part two of our in-painting tutorial series. This time, we're diving even deeper into the power of Flux Fill Dev and Flux Redux, but with a twist. Instead of relying on automatic masking tools like Florence 2 or SAM2 segmentation, we'll take full control by manually masking the areas we want to edit. Why? Because manual masking gives us unparalleled precision and allows for even better results. In this part two tutorial, I'll walk you through how to manually create and refine your in-painting masks in Comfy UI to achieve greater control over your edits. By combining these models in a fully manual masking workflow, you can direct exactly where changes occur in your image, making it even easier to preserve details that matter most while experimenting with new looks, backgrounds, or objects. Sound exciting? Let's jump in and see how to set up this entire manual masking process. We've made this workflow available for download on Civit AI. To get it, visit civit.ai and search for AI Motion Studio, where you'll find our newly released Ultimate Flux Fill-In Painting plus Flux Redux Thick Manual Masking Workflow. Download it and to use Flux Image In Painting in Comfy UI. If you are not caught up, in our previous tutorial on this topic, we covered part one of the in-painting workflow. Be sure to visit our YouTube channel to check it out. You can watch it after finishing this video to explore the different approaches used in each in-painting method. All right, now let's dive into Flux Image in-painting. In this workflow, you'll notice a key difference from the part one setup. We don't have Florence 2 or SAM 2 segmentation here. However, all the other nodes remain the same as in the previous workflow. To start, we'll upload two images. First, the subject image. This is the one we want to edit or apply in painting to. And second, a reference image. For this demo, let's begin by changing the background of our subject image. I'll upload a new background that I'd like to replace the existing one with. Now, using the mask editor feature in Comfy UI, I'll create a mask around the subject's background. Once the mask is done, I'll click on Q to generate. The new background looks perfect with the subject image. Now let's take it a step further. I'll drag this generated image into the load subject image node and upload a new reference image. This time, I want to change her outfit. I'll upload an outfit I'd like to use and draw a mask over the subject's current outfit. With the mask ready, I'll click Q to generate. Look at that, the outfit matches the reference image perfectly. It's spot on. Next, let's switch up her hair color. I'll take the newly generated image, drag it back into the load subject image node and upload a new reference image, this time a blonde wig. Using the mask editor, I'll draw a mask over her hair and hit Q to generate.
that looks fantastic. The blonde hair blends seamlessly into the image. It's amazing. As you can see, this in-painting method delivers impressive results. The key is ensuring that the reference image matches the masked area of the subject. When you do that, you'll get a seamless and realistic output every time. Now, let's try out another example with a different scenario.
As you can see, this works well with all types of images. Give it a try yourself, and let me know in the comments below if you're happy with the results. If you encounter any issues with the workflow, or if any nodes are not working, go to the Comfy UI Manager, click Install Missing Custom Nodes, and then Update All and Restart Comfy UI. This should resolve any node problems. And there you have it, our complete tutorial of the part two of the ultimate flux in painting with manual masking. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, Happy New Year, and I'll see you in the next video.